if the lion is the king of the jungle, how can he be the king of the jungle? If he's not the biggest, the elephant is probably one of the biggest. He can't be the fastest because that's a cheetah. He can't be the smartest. So he's not the biggest, the fastest, or the smartest. So how does a lion become the king of the jungle? His mentality. That's the only difference of a lion and an elephant. When a lion walks up and sees an elephant, he thinks lunch. An elephant thinks run. And it's all mentality. Because when a male lion walks up, he may be outnumbered by a pack of hyenas, but I'm king of my jungle because of my mentality. What happens when you're a gazelle and you're not being pushed? You're not being prodded. You're not giving it a reward. Nobody's encouraging you. What happens when you're a gazelle and the lion's not chasing you anymore? You stop running. But what happens when you're a lion? When you're a lion, it does not make a difference. You realize that if your family is going to eat, that if that pack of lions is to survive, then you gotta go hunt. A part of being a beast just ain't eating a gazelle. A part of being a beast is the hunts. It's the hunt that they're excited about. They like to see the gazelles run. Then boom, they take off. Cause real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the prize. And some of y'all just want to score. You don't like the process. You're not in love with the process. A true hunter's goal is not the prize. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. They live to hunt. They don't just live to catch it. It's the whole process. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time. You go by the gazelle. When you are a true hunter, you hunt until you get a gazelle and you don't stop until you get one. And then you get another, and then you get another, and you get another. If you're going to do what you say you're going to do, be what you say you're going to be, you're going to have to lie me out. You a gazelle, you gonna come up short. You a gazelle, you gonna have an average experience. You a student, I need you in lion mode. You an entrepreneur, I need you in lion mode. You trying to lose weight, lion mode. You can't do nothing significant in gazelle mode, nothing. Nothing impressive happens in gazelle mode. Nothing happens in run mode, give up mode, quit mode, scared mode, fearful mode, nothing happens. Everything happened in lion mode like I'm coming to get you. It's one thing to be hungry, it's another thing when you're starving. Starving for greatness and starving for success. It's not about winning. It's the battle itself. It's the struggle, it's the daily test. That's what life's about. I wanna struggle. I wanna grind and claw and scratch and I wanna dig in and I wanna push. And I don't want it to end because that makes me tougher. That makes me harder mentally and physically. Because real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the prize. And some of y'all just want to score. You're not in love with the process. A real man in the dark when nobody's watching, he putting in work because he loves the process. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide, f clubs, f partying, f trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. You still got work to do all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's okay to be unbalanced for a while. It's okay. Don't be all this stuff. People say you got to be balanced. To be the best in the world at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of energy and strength that you have to pull it off. It takes being obsessed to where people think you're crazy. Without discipline, you're nothing. And discipline in doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. Losers always take instant gratification. Winner's mentality is, I know what I gotta do. And I do it today, I do it tomorrow, and I do it every motherfucking day from here until the end of time, and then I do it some more. Dedication. 
Hard work, dedication, hard work. I'm a one-man army. The world can go against me. I'm still coming on top. I need you to go harder than you've ever gone before. I need you to be more dedicated than you've ever been before. Life's one big f***ing head game. You play with yourself. If you lose, it's because you allow life to get in your f***ing head. And if you don't have what you want, stop telling yourself the story because you don't have the money, you don't have the time. That's bullshit. It's because you haven't committed yourself where you would burn your boats. If you want to take the f***ing island, burn your f***ing boats. And you will take the island because people, when they're going to either die or succeed, tend to succeed. There is no plan B. You know who has a plan B? Motherfuckers that lose. Every single person that wins big, they only have one motherfucking plan. And that is, they are gonna win or they are gonna die fucking trying. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat. Where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. So as we look at the future, we can decide that from this day forward, I'm going to do all I can do to develop me. You want something? Go get it. Period. Real nigga to my last.